selection uses one of two st statement sets in JavaScript, the if statement or the switch statement. We'll start with the if statement. And I want you to take a look out at the W3Schools tutorials and read the one pictured here, if else statements. That said, I've gone ahead and written a little basic program in JavaScript that will compute gross pay with an overtime premium if one has been earned. I start out defining the variables that I will use. I have a variable D which I'm setting equal to the date function. Another variable hours that I'm initializing to 60 so we can anticipate overtime pay. A new variable rate set at 12.75 then a new variable called time which is the function d from the results of our date function dot get hours or we'll find out if it's am or pm and then finally a variable for gross pay called gross and then we come into an if then else statement. The condition I'm testing is hours greater than 40. If that's true, our employee has an overtime premium coming. If not, they just get their regular gross pay. So if it's true, I have a rather long formula for computing the gross. It begins with figuring out how many hours. Remember we do parentheses, the innermost first from left to right. So the first thing done here is to figure out how many hours over 40 we worked. And we hold on to that value in memory. And then we take our rate and multiply it by 0.5, which is cutting it in half. And we put that away. Now we haven't changed hours of rate. We just have two values stored in memory that were derived from hours in rate. Then we go back and we multiply the hours times the rate to compute the regular gross pay. Then we multiply our overtime hours times half of our hourly rate to get our overtime premium and add them together. Now, if hours greater than 40 was not true, then we'd fall below the else. And we would simply say that gross is equal to hours times rate. It's our normal gross pay calculation. Then when I come down to display the gross pay, I'm copying over some code from the tutorial. Looking at time, is the time less than 10? So if it's before 10 a.m., I'll print one message. After 10 a.m., I'll print another. But it gives us a second example of an if-then-else structure. So if the time is less than 10, then we'll write one message, which is, Good morning, your gross pay is dollar sign, and then we concatenate the value of gross to that dollar sign. If we're not before 10, we follow the else portion of this statement, and we write to our document, Good day, your gross pay is dollar sign, and then tack the gross on to the end. So, what does it look like when we run it? Well, let's have a look. We'll click on the page, and there it is. It is 1.56 p.m. 
So we're not before 10 a.m. So we get the message, good day. Your gross pay is 895, excuse me, $892.5. Now, if I go back and I change this code a little bit, so let's change our hours worked from 60 to 30. And we'll save that. And now we'll refresh. And our pay has changed. It's now $382.50. So that's how your if then else works. It's simple to do. Have fun.